Hi, and welcome to Family Bible Study number 17. I'm John White with the Westside Church of Christ, and I hope that you're all doing well this evening. Grab your families, grab your Bibles, turn over to Hebrews chapter 13 and read that now. Then come back to this video for some discussion. Welcome back. Chapter 13 is the final chapter of Hebrews, and as such, the author is making final statements in his letter to send out to these Jewish Christians. The verses I want us to hone in on tonight occur at the beginning of the chapter, verses 1 through 3. The author begins this chapter by talking about the concept of hospitality. Hospitality was incredibly important during this time for many reasons. If you were traveling a great distance, you might end up in a town where there wasn't an inn, or at least no room at that inn. The cultural expectation was that people would open their homes to strangers who would otherwise have to sleep in the streets. The author suggests in verse 2 that by opening our homes to strangers, we might at some point be entertaining an angel. Opening our home to a stranger may seem like an odd idea in our culture, but the thought behind what the author is trying to communicate is significant for us. We should be people who are looking out for the strangers and the mistreated. Oftentimes we struggle with this. Our own selfishness gets in the way of helping people who truly need help. It's so important that we do show hospitality. Verse 3, the author takes it a step further though. He says we should remember those in prison and those who are mistreated. And not just remember them, but care for them the same way we would as if we were sitting right next to them. As if we were the ones being mistreated. The author moves from hospitality to empathy. This is such an important message in this day and age, especially with everything going on in our world right now. One of the best things that we could do to show the love of Christ to others is empathize with them. We need to put ourselves in other people's shoes and try to understand their perspective and their journey. When we do this, it helps us better understand other people's perspectives on the world and more importantly, their needs. Take a moment to spend some time discussing some of the things we talked about tonight in chapter 13. There will be a few discussion questions on screen for just a moment. Feel free to pause and then come back to this video afterwards for a family challenge. So this week's family challenge that I want you guys to do is as a family, practice the idea of empathy. Take some time to put yourselves in the shoes of someone else. Instead of maybe passing judgment on people that you see out in the world who are struggling, pause and try to understand them for a moment. Then take action. Do something to benefit their lives in a positive way. Maybe buy them a meal or send them a care package if they're in prison. Whatever it is, share the love of Christ with someone who is hurting. This has been John White with the Westside Church of Christ, and I hope that you have a wonderful evening.